In this video, I want to quickly show you how you can use the puzzle generator for PowerPoint to make puzzle books with more than one different type of puzzle in. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure you're on the puzzle generator tab up the top here and then choose your trim size here. I'm going to stick with 8.5 by 11. And then the next thing to do is to choose your first puzzle. So this, for this example, I'm just going to go for Sudoku and I'm, I'm going to leave off the game explanation and then I'm just going to do 10 pages worth of Sudokus. So you can set all your settings here and if you uh, want to know a bit more about what each setting does, make sure you watch the overview to the Sudoku puzzle video. So once you've got all your settings here, click OK. And then what we're going to do, we're going to scroll down to the end of our puzzles and just before our solution start, we're going to create a new slide here and then we're going to delete these uh, placeholders and then all we're going to do now is then choose our next puzzle we want to have. So let's go through, let's go for um, Hitori. Again, you can set all your settings here. I'm just going to do 10 again for this example. But if you want to know a little bit more about all the settings, make sure you watch the overview to the Hattori um, puzzle video. And then once you have them all here, you click OK. Then as you can see now, my first 10 puzzles are Sudoku, my next 10 are Hitori, and then I have my Sudoku solutions and then my Hitori solutions. Now you can repeat this for as many uh, different puzzles as you like. What you may have noticed here is obviously I have the grid titles of different names. So I've got Sudoku 1 to 10, and I have uh, for Hitori grid one to 10. If you want to um, have the num numbers running consecutively, all you need to do is again, in your puzzle, so your first puzzle, and let's call our grids here puzzle, start a numbering at one, so we're gonna click okay. And then again, we're going to go down to the end of our puzzles here. Just before our solutions, we're going to create a new slide. Delete these placeholders again. And then we go to puzzles, Hitori. And I'm going to do my title as puzzle again. Now here, I'm going to do, uh, to start my numbering at 11. If you remember, I done 10 puzzles before. So if I start that at 11 and then I run it,
You'll see now my puzzles run all the way through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And then the same for the solutions here. Puzzles one to 10, 11, up to 20. Now the final way you can um, compose your puzzle book, if you want to have multiple puzzles um, in your book, is to use the bulk import and export tools. Now this is particularly useful if you do want a few more options rather than the default uh, one to six grids and one to six solutions um, per slide. So to do this, you want to do, so delete all our slides here, and then create a blank new slide here. And then I'm going to choose a square trim size here. So I'm going to go for 8.5 by 8.5. And then I'm going to choose my first puzzle. So I'm going to go for Sudoku again. I'm going to take off my left and right margins. And I am going to hide my titles and levels like so. Again, I'm just going to want to do 10 pages worth, one grid per page. So then we click OK. And then once they are created, we're going to export slides as PNG. Now, first of all, we're going to do the actual puzzles. So one to 10. Keep the quality and resolution the same. And then create a new folder, call it puzzle book. In here, folder. OQ and then in here a folder called puzzles. So once we've exported them, we want to go back to export slides as PNG again, this time doing 11 to 20 and that's our solutions. And then everything else the same. And then we're going to go into our folder, puzzle book, Sudoku, and solutions, and then save them in there. Now they're done, what I want to do is then delete all these slides again. Tap to add a, a new slide, delete these placeholders again. And this time I'm going to choose my next uh, puzzle. So let's, let's do skyscraper this time, skyscraper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 10 pages worth again. Again, make sure the left and right margin is unticked and one grid per page. And I'm going to hide the titles and levels as well. So then click OK. Then once I have them, I'm going to go to export slides as PNG. Again, doing one to 10 first because they are my puzzles, keeping the quality and resolution the same. And then going to my puzzle book folder, skyscraper, and then puzzles. Okay. And then repeat this again, but 11 to 20 for my solutions. Again, keeping the quality and resolution the same. And then back to that folder, skyscraper, and then solutions. And then into there. 
Now they're all exported, what I want to do is delete all of my slides here. I tap to add a first slide again. And then now I'm gonna choose the trim size for my book that I want to create. Now you can of course um, do what I've just done for as many different puzzles as you want and as many different um, amount of puzzles as you want as well. I'm just doing two to quickly show you an example. So once you've chosen your trim size up here, then what we want to do is to go to bulk import images. And then we want to make sure we're in our puzzle book folder. Now first I want to do my Sudokus. So I'm going to do my puzzles here, click OK. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do Sudoku. And if you notice here, you've got a lot more options to the amount of images or puzzles you want per slide. So if I do um, two per slide from my Sudokus, and then I go down here, uh, I can set the minimum margins and spacing. I typically leave this as the default and then tick the attempt to optimize spacing box here as this tends to have the best results. So once I'm happy with my settings, I click OK. So then I have my uh, Sudokus here, one to 10. And then what I wanna do then, now I want to go to bulk import again. And then this time I'm gonna do my skyscrapers. So I'm gonna go into my uh, skyscraper puzzles and then call that skyscraper. And then this time I want, I want six um, images of puzzles per slide. And then again, I'm keeping all my other um, settings the same. Click OK. So there we have our, um, our six, then four, because I've only got 10 puzzles. And then the last thing I wanna do then is to import my solutions. So again, I go back to bulk import images here. And then I'm gonna select my Sudoku and then solutions. And then I'm gonna have my title here, Sudoku solution. And then I can choose a different amount uh, per page here. So I've done two the first time. Let's do four, um, four solutions per page. Keep everything else the same and click okay. And then I have my four Sudoku solutions per page. And then lastly, I just want to bulk images a skyscraper solutions and then I'm going to do just the one per page and then skyscraper solution as my title everything else the same click OK and then we have a possible here we can just delete the blank slides and as you see I've got two Sudokus per slide and I've got my uh, six skyscrapers per slide and then for my solutions I've got four sudokus per slide and then just the one skyscraper puzzle per slide so I hope this quick uh, video and overview of how you can compile a puzzle book using the puzzle generator helps thank you for watching